Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with the following Ford Financial. Uh, just an update here on Aurora Cannabis. Um, they got some information coming out about them. Um, again, this is Aurora, ticker ACB. Here you can see what they've done over the uh, last year. Uh, so they've really uh, came down over 74% in the last three months, down over 33%. Here in the past month, down about 20%. And here in the uh, last week, they're actually in the green, up over 12%. And here's a look at um, today, up over uh, almost 3%. was there at one point, um, but this is Aurora. I've talked about them before. Uh, they, um, I'm kind of irritated with them. They did a reverse. That's why I have such an ugly cost basis, and I just haven't purchased any more of this one. Um, I need to to uh, lower my cost basis, and uh, now would be the time, but just haven't. I've been putting my money elsewhere, so uh, if you don't know much about them, they are a MJ play that engages in the production, distribution, and sale of MJ. Been around since 2006, uh, 8.03 million volume, 5.93 on the average, and a $950 million market cap, a 52-week low of 371 and a high of 1893. Here's a look at their uh, ratings, a 57% uh, hold, and here's a look at their earnings. So, a projected uh, negative 21, and it was actually a negative 30. So, and here's why I'm so screwed up on this one. So, May 9th of 2020, a reverse split. So, I had 120 shares. For each 12, I got one share, and so now I have uh, 10 shares, so totally got hosed on this one. That's why my cost basis is that, but moving on, Bing shows this one as a sell. Um, I would sell it, but I'm not going to sell it at a loss, so I'd be way in the hole. Aurora stock gains after first beat on uh, pot sales in more than a year, and this is just uh, five hours ago. Aurora Incorporated shares gain in the uh, late trading Thursday after the uh, Canadian uh, pot producer uh, beat sales expectations for the first time in more than a year. Aurora reported a fiscal second quarter loss. Of 75.1 million or 59 million, improving from a loss of more than 300 million a year ago on net revenue of 60.6 million in the quarter, down from 67.7 million a year ago. Analysts on average expected a loss of 45.4 million sales and 60 or 59.1 million. Canadian, according to a fact set, Aurora had uh, missed the sales consensus in four consecutive quarters and eight of the past ten. Aurora's U.S. listed shares uh, gained more than 6% in after hours trading following the release of the results after closing with a 1.1% loss in the regular session at $4.59. Aurora's recent uh, revenue misses were part of the year-long uh, decline for the uh, popular stock pick in the um, boom times of Canada's uh, move into legal recreation MJ, first major industrialized nation to legalize the uh, drug in such a manner. Aurora has struggled amid a uh, executive um, shakeup, reverse stock split, and hefty losses, with uh, shares losing nearly 95% of their value in the past three years, including 75% decline in the past 12 months. So just negative after negative after negative against Aurora. That's why the stock price is what it is. Reports Q2 loss uh, tops revenue estimates. Came out of a uh, quarterly loss of $0.42 cents, uh, per share versus uh, Zach's consensus estimates. A uh, loss of uh, 17 uh, This compares to a loss of $0.28 cents per share a year ago. These figures are adjusted for non-recurring items. So not too good for this one. So um, I'm still holding it. So I'm just glad I don't have any more of this one than what I uh, do. Uh, this used to be my favorite one, and then I switched to a Freya, and then Tilray took over that one. Uh, now, 
My favorite uh, MJ stock is uh, High Tide, H-I-T-I. And I've made several videos on that as well. So, Aurora announces fiscal 2022 second quarter results. And again, some of the uh, same information. Adjusted EBITDA approved 22% uh, to a loss of $9 million versus Q1 2022. The transformation plan ahead of schedule. A company now expects to realize upper end of 60 to $80 million range in total cost savings uh, by H1 2023. 60 million annualized savings implemented to date. And ACB, the uh, Canadian company defining the future of cannabinoids uh, worldwide, uh, today announced its uh, financial and operational results in the second quarter fiscal 2022, ended on 1231 uh, of 2021. So they improved their adjusted EBITDA by uh, 2.5 million over uh, Q1. Uh, moving us closer to our profitability goal. And some of this we already went over, so again, just looking at it again. Uh, Medical MJ net revenue was a 45.7 million, an 18% increase uh, from the prior year period, uh, delivering 76% of Aurora's Q2 2022 consolidated revenue and 89% of adjusted gross profit. Net revenue in uh, Q2 2022, including a provision recorded against international revenue of $2.4 million for certain current and prior period international shipments uh, there that were either above or uh, below target THC potency ranges. Year-over-year -year international revenue growth, excluding the provision, was 87%. Trim losses tops estimates, and this is just stated here today. So a reported loss of $75.1 million for the second quarter, with the MJ company's uh, growth outlook shaky as it attempts to expand the international market. Aurora stock uh, reported loss of $75.1 million, with a uh, net revenue falling 48% year-over-year. Adjusted EBITDA improved uh, by 22% year-over-year to a loss of $9 million consumer MJ fell to 14.8 million, while global medical MJ uh, net revenue increased 18% year over year. And here's a look at what uh, happened to the stock. So, on one hand, uh, net revenue for consumer fell 48% uh, year over year. However, a global medical MJ uh, net revenue increased by 18% year over year, and while the company's loss amounted to 38 cents per share, it was a huge improvement from a loss of $1.77 the year before. Net revenue for the quarter came in at $60.6 million for the quarter, down 10% from $67.6 million the year before. However, even the loss of $75.5 million was good news, and Aurora stock improved its position of a loss of $279.9 million the year before. Here's a look at uh, what uh, management said, um, so feel free to uh, pause and uh, go over that. And over here on uh, Reddit, uh, nothing there. Over here on uh, StockTwits, currently at four dollars and seventy-one cents, low of three seventy-one, high of eighteen ninety-three. Cognitive thing with all. Uh, I've done a couple of videos on uh, Sundial here as of recently. Uh, fuel cell and past due. Have not done a video on that one or Matterport. Gene Simmons. <laughs> I was stupid. Tilray, I've done a couple of videos on in the last two weeks. Uh, CGC, Sundial. FSD Pharma. I might have to take a look at that one. Huge. <laughs> Over here on uh, MSN Money, currently showing this one as a sell, and here on uh, Tip Ranks, currently showing it as a hold with a 15% upside to 542. 
high of 597, low of 510. But if you have uh, ACB, go ahead and list that in the uh, comments along with your cost basis. Any other information you'd like to share on this one? And if there's any other favorite uh, MJ stocks you want to see a video on, I'd be happy to do that as well. And if you haven't smashed that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing and hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop. Again, this is Jay Money following Ford Financial. Happy trading, happy investing, stay green. Cheers.